What's going on you crazy people? Welcome your face to this week's video. Today I thought I wanted to do something a little bit different, but not too different. That's right. It's Q&A time. I feel like this angle is kind of weird. I don't know. The camera should be lower. Yeah, the camera should definitely be lower. Alright, I think that's better. Okay, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. The first question of the day, and it's probably, let's be honest, the most asked question ever, that's not true, is brought to us by the wonderful Alicia Akabori. Alicia asks, favorite ice cream flavor? <sighs> Listen, uh, I don't even know how I could possibly start to- Pistachio! No, it's not pistachio. I don't know, vanilla. Vanilla is definitely my favorite. I know, it's pretty basic, but yeah, definitely vanilla. Second question is brought to us by Lisa Ob Obroy. Ob it's probably wrong. Do you like One Direction? Yes. The third question is brought to us by Emily Risden. The question is, would you rather never be able to talk again or never be able to sing again? Definitely, I, I'd rather never be able to sing again. Uh, you might be like, what, Greg, what? Are you insane? Are you serious? But this whole YouTube channel, this whole time you were lying to us. No, it's just that I, I really like talking. You probably know that if you watch my live stream. Taylor's Music 14 asks us the fourth question of the day, I think. Lyrics first or instrumental when writing? Really depends. I feel like I've answered this question before, but I'm gonna say it anyways. With songwriting, it's just like, kind of whatever happens, happens. You know, like if, if a lyric comes to mind, then you go with that. If, if a melody comes to mind, then you go with that. You know, it's not really something you can like, really structure, honestly. And most of the time, I happen to go with melody first, but a lot of people go with lyrics. Paris Pink asks, who is your celebrity crush and why? My celebrity crush is definitely Donald Trump. I don't know what it is, it's probably the hair. Let's be honest. Sharon D'Souza asks, would you ever date a fan? Yes. Who's your favorite artist? Yes. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, my favorite artist is, um, at Shawn Mendes. Oof, this one's a good one. Tana G asks us the, I think the sixth question, but I have literally no idea. The question is, if you could be an absolute professional in one activity, trade, sport, etc. for a week, what would it be? That is a fantastically hard question. If I could be like, just the best at one thing for a week, I'd probably just be like the funniest guy on earth. I'd want to be like the best at humor. I think that's a pretty good one. AJ... That's either Joe's or Jose, but I, I really don't know. He asks, what advice would you give to people who want to get better at doing covers or singing in general? Um, honestly, the only advice that I can give you is, is really what worked for me, and that's just keep doing it. I know it sounds crazy, I know it's, it's not what you wanna hear and it's what everybody tells you, but it's, it's really true, honestly. Like, if it doesn't work right away, keep trying until it eventually comes true. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, Alice Carswell is over here asking the real questions. Greg, Alice, should pineapple belong on pizza? No, pineapple does not belong on pizza. I'm, so, I'm sorry if you do that. Um, it's not like I can't eat that. Like I will eat it if it's there, but there's like a million things that I would rather have on pizza, if I'm being honest. April Rivera asks, how old are you? What else do you do in life? How long have you been singing? 17, um, I hang out with friends and pretty much just do music. And I've been singing for four years. Five years? Three years? It's a weird way to do three with my fingers. I don't know why I did it like that. So now I just, I just answered some of the questions from YouTube and we're actually gonna switch over to Instagram on there because I actually made a post telling you guys and there's actually an insane amount of answers. So yeah, just in advance, I, I will not be able to answer every question. There's like literally hundreds. So I'm gonna have to pick and choose. Sandwich157 asks, would you rather only be able to wear sweatshirts or only be able to wear sweatpants? Price sweatpants because like, I'm rocking the sweatpants right now and uh, I don't know, it's pretty great, pretty comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. Moonlight Gontier asks, can you describe your fans in one word? Um, well, that's probably one of the hardest things to do because there's so many, but if I had to choose one word to describe my fans, it would be talented because of all, all the like amazing fan art that you guys send and like all the edits and stuff like that. Like that's really crazy to me. I mean, there's, it's seriously really dope. So definitely keep that stuff up guys. Mariana, MDZA98 says, favorite movie slash series? Um, favorite movie, we already know I'm not gonna answer that. Favorite TV show? I don't know. Friends, probably. Friends is probably one of my favorite TV shows of all time, definitely. Sion Sanchez asks, what does music mean to you? Music is a way of expressing yourself and it's also just really nice to listen to. I mean, that sounds like a really dumb answer, honestly, but like, it's pretty much it. It's just really nice to be able to like, say what you want in a way that just 
sounds nice to the ear. You know what I mean? Like, I'd rather listen to a song than someone, like, tell me a story. So, yeah, I feel like that's a pretty, pretty good explanation. Oh, live underscore me dot 283 asks, is your P.O. Box still valid? Love you. First of all, love you too. Second of all, it absolutely is still valid. I'm getting new fan mail all the time, and I'm posting on the wall. So, definitely do that. All right, that was actually the last question I'm going to do today. Guys, thank you so much for all these questions. There is, as I said, hundreds of them. So, I am so sorry that I can't answer all of them. I really wish I could. But just looking at all your questions is really amazing. So, so thank you so much for putting the time to ask me all these amazing questions. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you want more. You guys know how that stuff goes. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I will see you next week. Peace out.